What's going on, all you sports and gambling fans out there? Today, we have some NCAA basketball betting for all y'all. And joining me here, Ross Benjamin, our SBR contributor. The game we're going to be looking at is the UCLA Bruins going up against the Gonzaga Bulldogs. Ross, as always, man, a pleasure to have you here. How are you doing today? Always a pleasure. I'm very good, and I hope the same is for you, my friend. Can't complain, my man. Can't complain. All right, so the Bruins achieved something that they were pretty much waiting for the entire, the entire season. And that was to get back-to-back -back wins outside of the Poly Pavilion. And they pulled that off just at the right moment by getting wins against the SMU Mustangs 60-59 and the UAB Blazers 92-75 most recently. So with all that in mind, Ross, I mean, do you think that they can actually keep it up and, you know, come into this game uh, prepped for the, uh, against the Bulldogs? Well, they're going to have to turn in a monumental defensive effort in order to have a chance in this contest. So let's not forget... These teams met during the regular season at UCLA, and Gonzaga came away with a convincing 87-74 win. And in that game, the Bulldogs shot a blistering 58.5% from the field. UCLA needs to improve on that number dramatically in order to have a chance. There were many who felt UCLA was undeserving of being in the NCAA tournament, and I certainly was one of them, Dex. There's even more who would have never predicted them reaching the Sweet 16. The Bruins upset of SMU came in a sort of controversial fashion. I say controversial due to the final winning margin coming as a result of a, a really suspect call on goaltending uh, on a three-point shot, which is very rare. And then you looked at the replay, and it clearly showed the decision to be suspect at best. The Bruins then caught a major break in the third round by having to face number 14 seed UAB, who, by the way, upset number three seed Baylor as a double-digit underdog in order to advance, while UCLA dominated the UAB Blazers 92-75 to and punched their ticket to Houston. All right, now let's look at the other side of the court. Uh, as for the Gonzaga Bulldogs, now they had always, well, they had come up short in uh, five consecutive years by getting knocked out in the round of 32 but they actually changed that and are now coming back to the Sweet 16 for the first time since 2009 after getting that 87-68 win over the Iowa Hawkeyes. Now with that last win, they achieved a five-game winning streak, and overall in their last 10 games, they've got an impressive 9-1 straight up. The deal is, they haven't been as successful on the betting side going an even 5-5 five five against the spread. So considering that the Sags haven't been in this spot for quite some time, what would you expect uh, that we could actually see from this team in this spot, Ross? Well, I expect Gonzaga to get stronger as this tournament progresses. You know, you mentioned them not getting beyond the round of 32 for the last five NCAA tournaments in a row. Well, they cleared that hurdle on Sunday, and they did so in impressive fashion with an 87-68 win over a red-hot Iowa team. Let's not forget, that was an Iowa club that entered that contest versus Gonzaga, having held each of their previous opponents to less than 40% shooting from the field. And Gonzaga was hardly in awe of their defensive prowess and shot a sizzling 61.4% from the field in that blowout win over Iowa. The Bulldogs have gone over the total in all five of their postseason games this season, which includes the WCC tournament, and those contests have averaged 155.2 points combined scored. They've also gone shot, excuse me, a terrific 54.3% from the field during that five-game stretch. All right, now bookmakers, they actually believe that Gonzaga will win this one, and they're favoring the Bulldogs by 8.5 points with a 145-point total. Now, when looking at the overall against the spread trends, we can see that when Gonzaga is favored by 3 to 9.5 points, they've gone an incredible 6-0 while UCLA is just 4-4 four four as an underdog in that same range. So, Ross, I mean, is this the spot that we should actually back the Gonzaga Bulldogs for, for this game? I mean, or are you going to recommend us to look somewhere else? In my opinion, Gonzaga is going to go 7-0 within that parameter, and UCLA will drop to 4-5. The Bruins are on borrowed time, and that clock's about to expire, Dax. Gans Gonzaga has all the ingredients, in my opinion, needed to make a deep NCAA tournament run, and I'm going to take the Gonzaga Bulldogs minus eight and a half over UCLA. I like them to win this game big. 
All right, great stuff, man. Ross, as always, a pleasure talking with you. Thanks for the insights and the pick, and uh, we'll do this again tomorrow. I look forward to it as always, Dex. All right, take care, man. And everyone else, don't forget to check back with us tomorrow for some more sports coverage and your free picks. Till then, for SBR Picks, this is Dax Floyd.